Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. Yeah. There's there there's a, a a need to move on here from something that is not emotionally fulfilling. This is all water, and then you have the chariot here and the nine of wands. With the ace of wands being here, there is a very passionate new beginning that's coming here. You don't need to give up, okay? You just need to be disciplined. Be very disciplined right now in what you share, what you talk about, where you go, what you do, what you eat. Um, this level of self discipline and self control it can save you, okay? Um, the things that I'm already picking up on, it's not good. Like some of you really need to, you don't need to have to isolate yourself or be afraid, but someone has most likely missed an opportunity with you or there will be a missed opportunity because you've already made a decision to move on. You're searching for something more meaningful. This could have happened in the past where you chose to leave something or someone behind. This could have been a job, okay? Doesn't always have to be a relationship. It's just something that you were contracting in like you could have left a job okay a friendship a relationship you could have stopped dealing with a family member or a, a particular group you could have stopped you know showing up to to do community service on saturday and somebody is mad somebody is upset that you have walked away from a situation they feel like there's going to be a missed opportunity with being able to hop on a bandwagon with you and move forward and therefore now it's like you're being advised to really have courage to not give up on yourself but to protect whatever it is that you've already created some of you you left somebody behind and there's definitely a very vengeful energy out here and this person is trying to now monitor each and every move that you make so that they can try to stop you i also want you guys to be mindful of the fact that people are also tampering with your protection they want to find out who or what is around you that's possibly feeding you um giving you information okay like i said even with like tarot readers people are looking to see well which readers do you like because then they're trying to do psychic attacks on people to get you to hear certain information to paint these illusions you're gonna have to really really break free from these illusions and be very discerning at this time six of pentacles and the four of pentacles here yeah somebody here i feel is holding back a lot but they're trying to paint this illusion that they want this reciprocal relationship with you that they want um to give you much more than what they're actually giving you this is a, again it's an illusion um somebody here also is trying to like keep you from receiving so for some of you it's like there are connections that are coming in the three of wands your ships are coming in where you will have reciprocal relationships where you will receive equal give and take someone's time you know effort love whatever it, it is here and somebody wants you to be very cautious about moving forward having joy contentment peace in your life this is this this is just it's a, it's a tactic to keep you stuck. The two of swords. And the lovers here. Yeah, you're going towards a divine partnership and somebody is very upset about this. They somebody is really trying to paint this this illusion that something that is good for you is bad so that you will miss an opportunity. That's all this is. This is nothing more than the devil playing with your mind to try to convince you that something is wrong where it's not actually wrong so that you will miss an opportunity. You cannot allow the enemy to to, to, to trick you, to punk you out of your spot because that's what the enemy is doing here. You have the lovers and it came out with the star. June 17th could have been significant. It's like somebody for sure wants to make, somebody knows that you're making the choice now to go towards something more meaningful where you can have these um, happy, peaceful, harmonious like connections, friendships or whatever so that there are like happy, positive changes ahead. Somebody it does not like the fact that you're being optimistic. And I always see this happen because just like yesterday, there was a reading I did and I was saying, you know, you need to go out and have fun and let the pain go. And then today you have this reading where it's very clear here that somebody's like, no, you don't, you need to sit down. You know, I'm a part of the collective like everybody else. And that's what I'm saying. I know when something, a person can even watch my reading and the energy is brought here to this channel where somebody's like, no, you don't need to go out. You don't need to be happy. Like seriously? <laughs>
the chariot. Somebody's like, no, you, you shouldn't move forward. July 17th could be significant, which July 17th, if I'm not mistaken, is actually the new moon in Cancer. I literally just said, wow, I talked about this a few days ago. June 17th. June 17th. What was June 17th? I don't even have my calendar. June 17th was the full moon in Gemini, I believe. July 17th is the new moon in Cancer. Somebody here has been playing with a lot of moon magic. I'll tell you that. But see, this is Cancer season. What was done in the dark is coming to light. And somebody here has been trying to paint an illusion that, that something in your life is completely flip-flop. And it's because of the work that somebody is doing in the background. The Ten of Wands, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, somebody is stressed out about this. Because somebody's Nine of, of Swords, Seven of Swords. Somebody rushed to do something to try to deceive you so that you will be looking back at the past. This could be someone from your past, an old friend, family member, or lover. But somebody definitely wants you to look back on the past or they want you to see so somebody is trying to make sure that you put rose-colored glasses on about something from the past. It's like you've made a decision to move away from something because you know that it's just not something that is going to awaken your soul at all. You don't want to be a part of it. You don't like it. You don't want to go back. And somebody is like, no, remember the good times. It's like, no, there, no. even if you do remember the good times, it's not enough to make you want to go back. So somebody now is coming in with this spiritual or psychic or attack here. Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, this is betrayal. There's more going on here than what meets the eye. Somebody is hiding the fact that they've been in the background spiritually attacking you. I'm telling y'all, these hidden enemies, they're coming out. And you had to go through the five of cups here, this disappointment, in order to see the truth. Somebody here wants you to look back and think that the, the past is where you belong. And it's not. That was only there to teach you the importance of letting go of situations that only give you false hope. That you hold on and cling to because of a, la a lack of self-worth. This is someone that's very narcissistic trying to hold on to you. Yeah, the five of cups underneath the chariot. Somebody does not want a, a situation to go in your favor. And it's because this situation that they put you in or that they want you, it's not going in their favor. But you don't need to be stuck crying over spilled milk. However, this situation is, is exactly how it's supposed to be. Whatever you've left behind, you were supposed to leave it behind. You don't, you don't need to second guess that. Yeah, the nine of wands, the world. This, this energy of you being in all of this conflict, chaos, confusion, having people trying to compete with you, sending all this jealousy and envy and evil out your way. This is over with. Somebody here wants you to give up. That's why they're trying to like really hold you down and, and break you down right now. No. Don't let that happen. Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles is here. And here's the Page of Pentacles. Something here with money for sure. I have 10 and 11 here. 10 and 11. The Strength card, the Will card, and then the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you got to stand up for what you believe in. Protect yourself. Defend your your beliefs don't change your mind about a situation somebody here you've changed your mind you said like you want to cut a cord you want to let something go you don't want to deal with somebody and somebody is like no you need to change your mind they want you to change your mind because they want to somehow have access to your pentacles this person the queen of pentacles is somebody who can be very grounded this person wants you to um make time for them they want you to make time for them and, and do something so that they can put their hook back into you. You have good news coming in about some kind of financial breakthrough or job offer opportunity or something like that. Four of Pentacles here, you need to keep it to yourself. Somebody is trying to, like I said, monitoring you. They're trying to get you to share some information so that you will... Um, so that they can track and monitor your process so that they know exactly when to strike. It's becoming harder for these people to watch you and to monitor you. So now they're using all these different monitoring spirits or, or anything else to try to keep an eye on whatever you're manifesting. Somebody is definitely trying to remove your spiritual protection as well. 
And what they're doing is they are creating these illusions when it comes to people around you. So right now you're questioning even good people around you. They're doing this on purpose to cause chaos and conflict and confusion, even with your close friends and loved ones who do have your best interest at heart so that you're isolated. It makes it easier for them to attack you. So in your mind, you'll think, oh, well, I can't trust anybody. Maybe that situation was from the past wasn't so bad. See, what the enemy will do is isolate you and cause chaos around with everything so that you can't pinpoint who the enemy is because this enemy is trying to continue to hide in plain sight. Wow. This person is using all of their might to try to change your faith, your your like this person to whatever this opportunity is, they do not want it to come in. So somebody is just very angry that because you walked away, you left the situation behind. They they they're pissed because the lovers here look, balance, the ten of water, two of <laughs> two of wands, two of pentacles. Somebody here took action to balance things in their life. And this person is watching you, page of swords. Somebody is watching you because when you realize that it was just too much going on, it was too much chaos and conf confusion, conflict, this is where somebody here most likely decided to go into hermit mode and say, you know what, God, I don't want to miss this opportunity, but I don't know exactly where the attack is coming from. This is, like I said, the importance of learning how to surrender to God. This is when you say, God, I'm, I'm going to lay this situation at your feet because I, I just don't know. And you call in your angels to protect you. Somebody knows that you're protecting yourself and they're trying to go in the spirit and remove your protection. That's not going to work. It's starting to piss me off. I literally just did a reading and I saw some real just nasty, low down, dirty stuff. And I'm like, I'm not going to post it because somebody is planning something tonight and you're not going to get away with it. And whoever this is, they like to watch my channel. You're not going to get away with this plan. So whatever holiday plan you're doing right now to catfish somebody... You're going to end up in jail just to let you know. Yeah, this is all this is a past lover for a lot of you or a friend or family member who's pissed off because you have love coming. It makes no sense to me how much people are so pressed about your love life. But you have the star here, the lovers, the freaking balance here, which is like the Sagittarius card, the temperance card, the ten of, of cups. And somebody here is trying to cause this instability here or two of wands. Like they don't want you to know how to take action around this connection here. Up there is the four of, of cups. Somebody wants you to miss an opportunity. This is somebody being stupid that's doing like some kind of breakup separation spell. But this person is trying to break you up, not just from like a, a love interest. Some of you, this love interest isn't even in your life yet. They're not trying to, they're trying to break you up from your spiritual protection and everything. And this is the truth. Ace of Swords is here. This is the truth. Somebody could be taking a trip. There's definitely something here about travel. Somebody traveling to celebrate. Ten of Wands, the Moon, <laughs> Seven of Cups, Six of Cups. Yeah. Let me just say this. Because the last reading, sometimes because of, of what I can see, my readings are too detailed. So I, I, I'm not going to share the other reading until this time, but somebody definitely is trying to travel. Okay. And somebody here is in this energy and they're trying to catfish someone. They're trying to travel to do something. So you guys be careful of a person saying that they're going to travel towards you or, or somebody asking you to go on a trip or something like that. This is only so that you will miss an opportunity. It's almost like it's really weird. This could be someone spiritually spying on you. They already know that for some of you, like this weekend or whatever, that you're destined to meet somebody. They want, like this person, they, they want you out of that, that city, that location, so that you don't meet a person. It's something like that. Like this, this person down to the day or the time that you're supposed to meet someone or something they're trying to either remove you or they're trying to get you off with somebody else so that you'll get in some type of 
messed up situation. Maybe they, they're trying to like put you in a situation where you will end up arrested or something like that. Just be very careful. I don't like the energy right now. Um, the reading before I was getting something ser like about a person definitely trying to catfish someone. And this person is living a double life. And I'm, it, it, it was very like dark. Okay. Somebody could, could literally be trying to, like I said, I don't want to give all the details because I don't feel like I need to release that just yet. Whoever this is happening to, you're protected. But now in this reading, I'm picking up that same type of energy where maybe this is somebody sitting around brainstorming on how to catfish somebody. You know, should we should we try to get this person out of town? Should you try to go to their house? Somebody is really trying to figure out how to corner a person. Because all they want is for someone to miss an opportunity. It's like, if this person cannot get someone out of town, or in just some cases, just out of care, it's like, okay, we know we can't get this person out of town, or something like that. Now this person is going to possibly do something to try to attack a person to get them out of character, to do something where they could end up in jail. It's something weird like that. Like somebody is really trying to get somebody locked away. <sighs> King of Pentacles. Somebody here just cannot stop crying over spilled milk. The world. Yeah, stand your ground, though. This is over. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups here. You will have wish fulfillment. Somebody is trying to stop you, block you from having an offer. You're going to receive it anyway. It's going to be so much more than, than anything that you had hoped for. So, yeah. Oh, I promise you, this is starting to piss me off. Five, number five, that's the Hierophant. The release card here, spiritual transformation, time to move on, unity. Yeah, somebody, um, somebody really needs to release some kind of outdated thinking patterns when it comes to relationships, marriage, commitment, also even spirituality and religion or something. Um, this Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles here. And king, it's heavy earth. The king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles are out here with the hierophant, the six of pentacles. See, there is a connection that's coming here. But see, whoever you are, if you have a connection, you need to keep it to yourself. So let's say, for instance, you know, holiday weekend or whatever. If you're going around people, if you recently connected with someone, you need to keep that to yourself. Because somebody is hoping that you will release some information. They need you to say something about a situation. And that's what I'm saying. Even me doing readings, it's like, somebody's like, I need you to say what's happening next. Because there, somebody here is using tarot or divination spine to, to literally plot how to get someone... in a bad situation so that they miss an opportunity it's an illusion though it's it's chaos it's conflict this is when you have to say okay sit down ground yourself don't don't be don't be fooled by this because there's a connection here the lovers the star something is destined to be it brings about the, the ten of cups the queen the king of earth here but in between this king of pentacles and this queen of pentacles there's a division there's division these two people are wrapping up some type of cycle. These people that this divine couple most likely have walked away from, these karmics are in the background. They're, they're losing their minds because everything that they've done in the background to try to manifest someone back into their life and to break up a divine partnership, a connection, it's being exposed now. They're about to like literally get all this karma and they're still trying. It's over. Like... It's over. It's it's just done. Five look five of ones. Nothing but conflict. 
You have so many people around you that are so jealous and envious and, and competing with you about this Page of Pentacles offer. Something here has not even, for some of you, you don't even know this person yet. You haven't even met this person or if you have, the situation has not even gotten off the ground because you have somebody in the background sending you the evil eye constantly. Somebody here wants to know all the details of your life. They're monitoring everything. This is someone here who is heartbroken. Queen of Wands, this is somebody who is heartbroken. They're hanging out in the background doing spell work or manifestation where this person is doing love spells to get somebody back, but they're also doing um, sending out monitoring spirits and other things to stop or block whoever someone may be connecting with. The Hermit card, whoever you are, this is a time to go within discover more things about yourself go within do your deep shadow work and healing don't allow this this mess around you with this full moon energy to affect you what you need to focus on at this time and i'm not trying to fuss at anybody I, excuse me because i'm saying what you need to do and i don't like to say that some people are offended by it so excuse me <laughs> what i would recommend that you do <laughs> is to try to ground yourself with the full moon being in Capricorn, we all know Capricorn is going to represent um, bad habits, addictions, um, any kind of addiction. It could be an addiction to food. It could be an addiction to alcohol, substances, um, an addiction to gossiping, an addiction to social media. It could be anything. Really sit down and assess and evaluate what your what are strongholds in your life. The strongholds that people know about and the strongholds that nobody knows about, that you that you know you struggle with. This is the time to focus on releasing the strongholds, handling your own voids and vices so that the enemy cannot attach to those things. This is nothing but a bunch of conflict that people are stirring up to have you confused and distracted. That's all this is. It's just like in the reading that I did, and I'm, just, I'm most likely going to post it because whatever. What the enemy is doing out there, even sending in these lovers. So I see the, the plot very clearly. For some of you who are about to connect with someone or you're connected, what they're doing is they're separating you and this person. They're doing breakup spells to separate you and this person. And then they're going to send in somebody that that you you feel is everything that you've ever wanted to love bomb you and to cause a separation, a permanent breakup between you and someone or to cause you to miss an opportunity with someone altogether. So this is like if you and someone right now, you know, you're in the early stages of dating or even if you haven't met this person, you can you can be sure that like this weekend, holiday weekend, somebody is going to be sent into your life or this person's life to test you, to try to sleep with you, seduce you, love bomb you or whatever, so that you will just stop thinking about this good person that has been sent to you. There's somebody is trying to bind you up in the spirit so that you don't go towards your blessing. That's all they're trying to do. But see, when you sit down and you quiet your mind, you can see this. You should be able to pick up on the red flags. Why are people suddenly, like suddenly, you know, reaching out to you, calling, texting, inviting you places? People giving you advice and you know it's bad advice. If they can put psychically attack you and play these games with you and create these illusions, you will fall for these tactics that they're using. This is old and played out. So instead of worrying about the distractions, worry about yourself. Because it's something, it's a void or a vice within you that they feel like they can still attach to. That's the problem. These people think that they know you so well. You have to learn how to fool the fool that thinks that they're fooling you. They think they know you so well. They think that you're so naive, you're so gullible, you don't know anything about the streets or the spiritual streets. So, so they can do a breakup spell to separate you and somebody or stop you from, from, from meeting a person and send in a fake phony person to catfish you. But they're, they're upping the ante. They're trying to send in people to possibly like, you know, give you diseases or, or sleep with you or have you abandoned or, you know, have you in jail or in some type of legal situation. Like they're, they're throwing something at you that's heavy. 
because literally you have everything that you want is manifesting and they know that these people already know these exes that a lot of you have these ex friends family members and lovers they already know once you get this offer that's it it's already up and stuck for them you don't want to deal with these people and that's why they are upset justice what justice and the three of wands justice and the three of one look at this y'all i cannot make this up justice three of wands you know three of wands is your ships coming in justice so you will receive justice here and what is your justice the emperor the nine of pentacles the eight of wands somebody knows like i said once this person gets into your life your whole life changes somebody knows that or if this person is in your life once you're no longer confused about them because these people, some of you, you've already met this person. And what the enemy is doing is they're trying very hard to make you think that this person is out to get you. Because that makes it harder for you and this person to really come together energetically and spiritually because you have this, this barrier up. This is, this is a test in your faith, though. Once you open your heart and you allow this person in, whether you know them or not, things are going to gain like accelerated motion and momentum. Somebody, as long as whether you know the person or not, as long as they keep you confused and you're always looking over your shoulder with this person, whether it's a friend, a business partner or a potential lover, nothing is manifesting. This is you learning how are you going to love like you've never been hurt before? Or are you going to let these wounds and triggers from your past keep blocking your opportunities? Because really all this is is a mind game. Half of this stuff, these people, they're not going to do it. They're just putting the, the, the fear in your mind that they're going to do it. They're not going to do it because they already know they can't do it. Let me tell you something. The truth is half of these people... They absolutely have the means to do what they want to do. They are not doing it to you because they already know the repercussions of it. How long have you been going through this spiritual battle with these people? Years, some people decades. If they was going to actually do something to you, they would have done it by now. That's the truth. They already know not to play with you like that. They just want to keep making you think <laughs> That they have more power than they have. That's what the devil's going to always do, though. But see, something here is rushing in. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. And this person from your past is also rushing in because they're stressed out about the fact that you've had this awakening. And the tower moment is happening here. You have the tower and the fool. The tower. This awakening brings in new love. And somebody is like, wait a minute, what do we do? Somebody knows that they've made an unwise choice to spiritually attack you because you've already gone through great healing. Not only have you healed, but King of Swords here. Archangel Michael or a, a, a person, possibly for some of you, this is an actual person of authority, an official person. Like a, an actual... um. A person in, in like the... This this could be like a cop or something. You have protection here in the earthly realm and in the spirit realm. You're you're untouchable. I literally I think I did a reading yesterday. The King of Swords was in the the front of a I think an Empress and the back. No, it was the King of Swords, the Lovers, and the King of Swords. Both you and your person and your union is protected. And somebody knows now that they really really messed up. Trust me, these people, are, I said this the other day. It's a few days before the full moon. They've already gotten started on their moon work. Building up energy, thinking that they're going to do something. They trust me, five of swords, they know. They know that they went wrong with this one. You're too protected. Once you start seeing this stuff for what it is and you don't give it any power... Everything is, is, is null and void. Full moon should not be about everybody like, oh, the spell work, the magic. Go sit down and do your shadow work. The, the real question is, why are they attacking you? 
They're attacking you because of something good in you, and they're also attacking you because of something unhealed in you. That's the focus, not them, because they're going to keep on fighting you from outside. These people fighting you from outside the gate. They can't even get in. They just want to make you think that they're so much closer to you than they are. These people aren't going to, they, they can't touch you. Trust me. These people have had every opportunity to, to put hands on you. They know where you are. They stalk you all day. They know exactly where you are and where to find you and how to find you. You being located is not the problem. <laughs> they just know. Do you know how many people have probably approached you in public that have been sent by these groups of people who are watching you? When they get on you, the ones who read auras, when they get on you and they see the level, your aura, they know what kind of protection that comes with. Don't let these people fool you. They know. They know you better than you know you. They already know, uh-uh, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't play with that person. Seven of Swords. The scheme or the scam is not going to work. They know. Leave that person alone. That one person will take down a whole army. I don't know why people keep playing. And I'm going to say this. For the people who keep coming on my channel watching me, you need to, and playing these games, trying to be the monitoring spirit on my channel, you need to stop. You need to stop. Y'all have no idea, readers who put this in front, people tap our phones and everything. If I say, oh, I, I didn't upload the video, they want to tap my phone to see what video did I not release. We go through a lot behind the scenes. We go through the same stuff that the collective goes through. We are, we are all the collective. Ten of Wands. Somebody is, is down to their last with whatever they're doing. They know it's not working. Two of Wands. Like, what did I just say? Somebody knows. Two of Wands in the reverse. You need to stop trying to take action of these people that's on these platforms watching, looking, and stalking, and hacking. Somebody here literally is trying to watch somebody's house. Watch somebody's security, their stability, their relationships. Going online trying to find out a person's about a person's lineage, their family, also that they can try to do binding spells and, and all this stuff in the dark. And this is stuff that people have been doing and it's not working. Some of these people are going so far as to pay people to try to come in and approach you. But you know why you keep getting away? Because God is always there protecting you. You're an earth angel. You, you move on to peaceful, calm waters every single time. And you remain self-sufficient, independent, abundant. Whether you have someone around you or not. And these people are constantly facing the tower. And each time they send the tower to you, your intuition is heightened. Your spiritual connection with whoever this person is that you're supposed to be with is is strengthening every time. They're strengthening the bond. Every separation breakup spell is strengthening your bond. Every psychic attack is making your your intuition stronger. Thank you should thank these people. Like I said, do your shadow work and thank these people. Thank them for watching you so much. Because here's the heart, the the hermit and the sun is gonna be exposed. These people have been watching you, some of you, since last August, Leo season of last year. And they're doing these rituals now to try to come in and steal whatever it is that you're trying to manifest for this year. The Lion's Gate portal is very important to a lot of people. That's star quality, the sun, summer solstice right now. These people are starting early on rituals to take away your love. They don't want people to love you. They don't want you in your divine power. That's why all this yellow orange energy, the sun energy. They don't want their sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra. They don't want you receiving love. They want you somewhere stuck, confused, paranoid, afraid, feeling wounded. While they try to get away with trying to have you completely just locked out. These people want you locked out of like your own mind and intuition. Imprisoned. Why? Because you're free. You freed yourself from heartache and pain. 
suffering. You're not missing any opportunities and they keep looking. They're watching to see, is the Divine Feminine missing an opportunity? No, Divine Feminine is steady working on being happy. And each time they see that they get disappointed and they get angry and they throw another spell. This is people from your past that watch you to keep rushing in doing spell work on you. That's the truth. The truth is they're facing judgment now because this is over. You're going through an awakening and yes, you're going towards the Ten of Pentacles and they are obsessed with it. Obsessed. It's, it's really ridiculous. And I know for a sure fact that what I'm talking about is the truth because just yesterday, just yesterday, I posted a reading. I'm like, oh, you need to go out and have fun. Da, 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 da. They're already in the background. Let's, let's see how exactly can if this person goes to Target, we're going to send a person in to approach them. We need to find a way to, to attach a monitoring spirit. Oh my goodness. They're happy today. Wait a minute. What are they what are they going to manifest that's good, that's great in their life? We want to stop that. Really? The obsession is so but see, Capricorn full moon. This the devil rules obsession. So a lot of this stuff like it's it's in the mind. People mind is is gone completely just haywire. These are people who have been hiding in plain. They've been hiding the fact that they've been obsessed. They can't hide it. They've been obsessed with putting an end to your pathway. It really is just sick and pathetic. I would encourage a lot of you guys, though, expectation here to um, cleanse yourself. In your mind, stay as grounded as possible. <sighs> Expectation. Somebody here is going to lose a job. This false person. This false person in the community is no longer going to be able to do this. And this could be this, this dark witch or spiritualist or whomever. That is constantly out here doing spell work on people's partnerships, relationships, friendships, family, and all these other. This person here is a false person in the community. And there's going to be an end. This person is going to get sick. In the house. This person wants you to be sick in the house. Either this is what this person is planning for you or they've already done this. Some of you at some point, you could have found yourself just all of a sudden just sick. Sick. You you just couldn't go out or this is what they're doing. Somebody wants to, you sick because here, high honor. Somebody here is thinking about coming towards you with an offer. A wealthy person. Wealthy doesn't have anything to do with money. For some of you, it's somebody with money. Some of you, it's someone here who they're going to invent something or create something and they're destined to be wealthy. However it is, though, this person is trying to have you somewhere stuck and bound so that you do not meet this person or you don't reconnect with this person or whatever the situation may be. But they just don't understand, like, spirit is all over this situation. This person thinks that they're 10 steps ahead and hell, you're a whole lifetime ahead of this person. This is somebody on YouTube. Get on my nerves. Nine of Wands. Elevation of the soul and the revelation of mysteries, nine of wands, and the world. You're evolving. This is giving you great spiritual strength. Whatever the situation is, it's a test of your spiritual strength. Dealing with this extremely obsessed demonic person, this is this is really testing you. Do not break. Do not back down. Look at the doctor. Bad health is out here. Doctor. Yeah, somebody is wishing something on you. It's it's gonna backfire.
And it's more energy. It's revealing the truth about all these people. It's a lot of different people in your energy doing this. Look at this. Two of Wands, Two of Swords, Seven of Swords. Y'all, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait just a minute. Two of Swords, Seven of Swords, Two of Wands. Didn't we just have those exact cards? Or am I thinking about the other reading? I, am I tripping? Hold on. Two of Wands. Wait a minute. I need to start making my cards more neat. I know I saw a Two of Wands and a Two of Swords. It wasn't in this tarot deck. Hold on. Put that over there. We're done with that. Two of Swords, Two of Wands. Wait a minute. Uh-uh. Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles. But the Seven of Swords was close by. This is all about... Um, this is all... It's a plan. That's all. It's, it's, a, it's a plan to have you stuck and confused. That's all this is. That's it. Don't give this any more power. Please. It's just, it's a plan to just have you stuck at a crossroads. This, all this is, is a confusion spell. I'm going to tell you, if it's you connected with somebody else, it's a confusion spell. It's a breakup spell to have you confused, dazed and in some kind of illusion to a pinnacle so that you have so much going on that you don't sit down and deal with the actual root of the problem here. You've come into your own. You have a new partnership, a new contract. You're trying to move forward. Somebody here wants you to be foolish. They want you juggling so that you will um, make some type of crazy decision that's going to put you in the hole, really, is what this is. Yeah, the two of wands in the reverse. Somebody here wants you to give up. And like I said, the plan is to send somebody in to distract you or something in. This is just, it's an energy. It's an energy, but it's a pentacle. A pentacle is it, to stick. Some of you, somebody is trying to attach something to you. Two of swords, seven of swords, and the two of wands. This is just to have you at a crossroads. And then two, 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 the lovers. This is, the, somebody here is a, a twin and somebody knows you're a twin. And I'm telling you, they have it out for you and this person. They do not want you to make the decision to go towards this, this new contract. The two of wands, it says love and wisdom, victory over those who would attack you. Seven of swords, it's the knowledge of good and evil. And then the two of swords, that's that stalemate energy. You're breaking this cycle. You're breaking the circle. You're not bound by indecision. Do not be bound by indecision, y'all. I'm telling you, this is not, all this is, is, it's just a confusion spell. It's an illusion. That's it. Some of you, you don't even know these people that's doing this. Four of Cups. It's, uh, four of Cups. Missed opportunities. What do we have here? Four of Cups. The star. The lover's justice. Your justice is here with a new contract, a new relationship, a divine part, whatever it is. Somebody's like, no, please miss that opportunity. But your angels are saying, no, you're a healer, you're protection, you're protected. These weapons that are being formed against you, they will not prosper. This is someone who is extremely jealous and envious. It's a hidden enemy, the high priestess and the moon. Six of cups. This is a past life enemy for some of you. Someone from your past, someone that, some of you, like I said, you don't even know this person, but the high priestess and the moon, you're receiving divine revelations and guidance as a high priestess. And with the moon, it's a cancer moon. Somebody is trying to create illusions because they know that your insight, your intuition, your awareness is heightened right now. They already know that. And they don't want you to see the truth of what they've been doing in the dark. This is somebody in the community. That's trying to cover up their tracks. Something here, they've already gotten caught. 
Six of Cups, it says lifts up those who are fallen and humiliated. Some of you, you're a high priestess. You're going out and you're trying to lead people out of the darkness. This person was trying to stop your life purpose. They wanted to stop this because of the Six of Wands here. Y'all, Six of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Chariot. What I tell you, seven, hold on, listen to me. Hold on. I need to do better, y'all. I be throwing cards out everywhere, especially when I get upset. Two of Wands, <laughs> Two of Swords, Five of Wands, Four of Cups, Missed Opportunity. Then we have the High Priestess and the Moon. Somebody is trying to create an illusion for a High Priestess, the Six of Cups, about the fact that even in a past life, In a past life, many of you, you signed a contract. That contract is protected. Six of Wands, it says, protects against infirmities. Y'all look, the Four of Wands, the Chariot, the King of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Star, the World, the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Empress. The Queen of Swords. The Three of Wands. The Magician. Okay. All I gotta do is... That's a story. Two of Swords. Two of Wands. Somebody sees that you're taking action right now. Okay. Seven of Swords. You're being strategic in whatever you're doing to move forward. This person wants you indecisive and in some kind of stalemate energy because there's a lot of jealousy, envy, third, like evil eye and everything else sent to you. Five of Wands, this could be a group of three to five people, maybe even more, who are coming together to cause you to miss an opportunity. Why? Because either you or your person is a high priestess that receives a lot of messages. Somebody here is already connected to the Most High. You're receiving some very, very divine like revelations and guidance whether you are you you're receiving these downloads for yourself or for other people you're a seer you're a messenger possibly and these people don't know how you're receiving this information but this is who you are even in a past life you were most likely very gifted six of wands here some of you are choosing maybe to share your gift talents and abilities and it had it doesn't have to do anything for some of you it may not be related to you being psychic or anything like that at all. You could be an excellent hairstylist. You could be a doctor. You could be a lawyer. But somebody sees you in some type of craft or maybe you're just very easy on the eyes, whatever. They do not want you to be seen. They don't want you to be heard. Why? The four of wands. Your security, your stability is coming. Okay? The chariot. Cancer season. The, the chariot represents cancer. The chariot is moving past anything. This is a lot of perseverance leading to a great deal of success for you. You're being restored and, and redeemed. Then you have the king of cups. So like I said, king of cups, the two of swords. This is someone who wants you at a stalemate. They don't want you to see the truth about um, this king of cups. Somebody already sees that now you're at the crossroads here and you're looking at a, a choice to go towards like a connection or whatever it could be a new friendship or, or whatever it is so the, now what this person is doing the seven of cups we know it's all about illusions some of you you're going to be bombarded with people approaching you because there somebody is releasing some type of energy out into the the atmosphere the collective so everywhere you go people are going to be trying to connect with you this person is trying to create all of these illusions and distractions why because this is the star this king of cups is the star you could be the king of cups or you're meeting the king of cups also whoever this person is that you're supposed to be meeting it doesn't even have to be romantic this person carries some kind of star quality but they are also a protector. This person is a divine protector. So somebody here, even the readings we've been doing lately, someone is recognizing, of course, a person that's like a twin flame, their counterpart is protecting them. That's a part of the contract. So if you are with this person, whether in spirit, energetically, or physically, 
the enemy wants this person to be stripped away from you because the, together, the two of you, you're too strong. See, you and this person, you're sharing messages, whether it's through telepathy or you're talking to this person. This Somebody here is telling, especially if this is a high priest is dealing with someone else. If your person is under an illusion or confusion, you can communicate with them about what's going on and vice versa. Whatever information that you and this person share, however it's being shared, whether you know them or not, it could be on a soul level in the 5D, it's protecting them. So what they're doing now is let me separate these two people energetically for some, physically for some, so that it makes it easier for me to create an illusion, separate them, and then send somebody else in, a Jezebel or whomever, to make sure that these two people don't come together. But let me say this, if I'm saying this here because I see it, or if it shows up in somebody's dream and it is revealed, that means that it's already been revealed and that means that the plan has already failed, idiot. Seven of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. This says, Seven of Wands, it says, um, Liberation, deliverance from enemies, both visible and invisible. What I just said, I promise I didn't see this on this card. Like I just said, if a high priestess, a hierophant or anybody can see something, whether they see it in their dreams or in their physical reality or whatever, as above, so below. If they see it, whatever you're sending out has already been canceled. Deliverance from enemies both visible and in invisible whether it's a known enemy or they're unknown it's not gonna work the knight of pentacles somebody here is slowly acquiring knowledge and healing it says acquires knowledge and cures illness this knight of pentacles is going towards this divine feminine this is like i said for some there's divine masculines right now they're going through a dark night of the soul they're purging God is cleansing them, purifying them. They're getting ready to go towards this divine feminine. Somebody is tracking this masculine. They're like, oh, shoot, what are we going to do? Because the masculine is getting stronger and stronger. It's just a matter of time before he rolls right up on this divine feminine. Knocks on the door. Or you meet this person. So if they can make you sick or have you in jail or whatever, you won't meet this person out in your community. Or that's the plan. 55, 55, major changes coming. The Empress. The Empress brings fertility, fruitfulness. The Empress, it says, assures peace between married couples. This Knight of Pentacles right now is learning about, about their divine path, their soul contract. They could be really trying to tap in now and see what do they want when it comes to a marriage. And who do you have? The Queen of Swords. Somebody that's bitter, angry, mad. It says ritual and ceremony. This is some angry person here who's using their knowledge for a lot of evil stuff. Somebody here, the Queen of Swords is very smart, very intellectual. This is also, the Queen of Swords is also a, a person who is an extremely high achiever. Meaning this person refuses to lose. This person has become obsessed and has made it their personal mission to ensure that this divine feminine does not receive an offer. So this person is doing rituals, ceremonies, spells to block this. The three of wands, because they already know <laughs> that the magician is coming in. A manifestation, the, the magician is a manifestation. Spiritual wisdom and magic helps one gain wisdom and discover hidden secrets. This person does not want this twin flame to connect with this person because it's going to make this person too strong spiritually. The type of downloads that someone will receive once they actually are in union with their counterpart, everybody is so afraid of it. Because that means whatever you're missing, that person is going to be able to share it with you. And it's going to mean, that means that everything that has been done in the dark, every group, every assembly is all going to be dismantled. 
These people are contracted by the devil. Once they start, it, you, you think about like a, a temporary job. I, I use this analogy. It's like a temporary job. A company hires temporary workers. You go in, you do the job. When the do job is finished, you're out of there. Full-time employees stay, you leave. They get their W-2, you get your 1099. You got to get out. The job is done. These people know. They were contracted to stop these people from coming together. Once they come together, they're no longer needed. <laughs> it's over. What did I say? I didn't even notice this before now. Occupation. Their contracted role with the devil is over. And what these people know, they're expecting their job, their contract to be over. They, These people were only in your life to try to block you. That was it. This false person, she knows this. She's already in bad health. She knows an ending, possible death is on the way. This is a whole, this is a community of people. Watching your house. Watching who, who's coming and going from your house. Sending out birds. <laughs> Some of you may be saying, um, because I, I just saw that, um, I saw in my head in another deck, it's over here somewhere, evil omens, sending birds, insects, all kinds of stuff. These are monitoring spirits. They want to know who's going and coming from your house. What's your schedule like? But see, you got to send a bird out because you're not going to go to this person's house yourself. Pathway. Somebody knows, man. They're on a pathway to somebody who's going to be very wealthy. Or it's something about this masculine. See, this, this is how the enemy will fool you too. You have a lot of people who are extremely gifted, talented, who have been destroyed by their enemies. Whoever this wealthy man is, see, it's 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 some this connection between these two people is such a big issue because there's a wealthy man out here. I don't feel like this person is wealthy right now for some people. Let me explain to you why. Because it's a knight of pentacles going to the empress. This person becomes wealthy by being with the empress. The empress gets in her life purpose by being with this wealthy man. I, when I say I feel the Holy Spirit all over me right now. This man has some type of spiritual protection. The way he can protect this feminine out here, who is possibly a high priestess. This person needs spiritual protection. She's the empress or he is the empress already. Meaning they're, they're probably, they already have security, stability, wealth or whatever. What they need is protection. That's the yin and yang energy. The man, the masculine is there to protect and to provide. Wherever this empress high priestess is falling short, when this man comes in, he plugs something into this person, she's set or he is set for life. That person becomes untouchable. But the thing about it is when this man is able to plant a seed with this empress, the wealth comes in. Whoever is attacking this masculine is scared. Whoever is attacking this feminine is scared. Because whoever has been keeping this man from inventing something, starting a business, making money or whatever, they already know. If he gets with this empress, that's it. Because everything that they've done in the past, in the background, behind the moon, to keep this person stuck is going to come out. This divine feminine, whoever has been blocking this divine feminine knows. Whatever they've been doing with these psychic attacks, playing around with these dark spirits and demons and everything else, as soon as this person connects fully 
with this masculine, it's up and stuff. These people, there's no way they can change any of this. There's nothing they can do. And now we got a full moon in Capricorn. Oh, you've been playing with the devil, worshiping the devil. When it comes to this, this twin flame connection, mm -hmm. see how that goes for you. Privileged lady. Pathway. Wealthy man and a privileged lady. And it's an illusion. There's an illusion here right now. Because one of these people that is showing up privileged, you become privileged on this pathway. Somebody in this connection so far is not privileged. Don't judge a book by its cover. Somebody here is not currently privileged. December 13th could be of significance, but you have here 12 and 13. And 35. 12 and 13 will make 25. 35. Mm. July 21st could be significant. Then you have 6 and 7. 6, 7, and 21. 12, 21. These two people are mirroring each other. Six and seven. There's a message here going to this mature woman. What it is though is I think I'm I'm connecting now with whoever is attacking this man. There's a, a mature woman here. There's a mature woman out here who has been attacking like the finances or something of this wealthy man. This mature woman knows that this wealthy this man is supposed to be gifted something. Has something to do with contracts, paperwork, some type of clearance that's going to change their life. Main, female, distant horizons, the lovers and the child. Yeah. This, this mature woman has been a stronghold for this masculine. She doesn't want this masculine to receive something that's going to allow him to make a change. She's somebody here could be holding someone's mail or somebody here has gotten like some kind of clearance to do something. Somebody's going to find out that the reason why something in their life has to move forward is because of this mature woman. This woman was in the background, possibly working with like some legal officials or somebody to stop somebody because she already knew that once this person got some kind of breakthrough, that they were going in the distant horizons. She looked in this person's future and she saw this main female. That this person was going to choose to have a brand new beginning with. There was going to be some unexpected income that would lead to sudden wealth. And somebody she sent somebody in to steal it. So this is this is a lot of all these setups are about to be exposed. And, and it should be. It should be. Somebody set this masculine up so that he was unable to make some kind of breakthrough is it had his finances or something else bound so that he couldn't move forward because somebody looked in his future and saw that once he got some type of opportunity a job or something i just heard a patent patent for something because i don't know why somebody here is possibly thinking about like inventing stuff i don't know why i'm getting that like there's an invention or this person's gonna start a business this could be like somebody that's looking for some, some tax papers or LLC papers or something and it's hidden. It's because of this old woman here. She's been hiding the documents or doing spell work so that somebody won't receive something that they need in order for them to take the next step. Because she's already looked into this person's future and she's like, oh, when he gets this, the green light to do something, he's going to go towards somebody else. So she's blocked it. Then Divine Feminine has a person who's in the in the community, a, 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 a secret society, a, a co a coven, religious group, or whomever. This is somebody who is sick. This bad health, this person has mental health issues, and they try to stay hidden and act like they don't know what's going on. But what this person is doing is they're constantly working on trying to end this high priestess gifts and career because they don't want this per these two people to come together. You got a high priestess out here who's coming together with an emperor. So you got the business aspect of thing, you got the spiritual aspect. Yin and yang, it's a twin flame couple. 
and they're both being attacked by people in their friend group, family, community, or whatever, as well as some kind of secret society of people who are watching and monitoring this connection, people that they don't even know that's attacking this union. Somebody here is concerned, like, why, why is this person constantly in despair while they're on their journey to becoming the main male? Because the main male is supposed to connect with the main female, and they're supposed to, here you have it, in the distant horizons, experience some kind of change where they receive a gift of this new, this new beginning, possibly a child, a marriage, a commitment, a child, and it brings sudden wealth. As long as these people, this is why the fertility magic, womb magic, and everything else has been happening. They do, these people do not want these two people to get married, and they do not want them to start a business or have a child. This is a this is the enemy. This is this is the devil and his minions on their contracted assignments. They've been hired to go into a company and, and, and ruin everything. I'm seeing, um, and I, I don't even remember what happened in the movie, but I'm seeing, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. I'm seeing the movie, the Tyler Perry movie called Good Deeds. If I'm not mistaken, he, he like owned a company and I guess he ended up falling in love with the, um, I, I think the lady worked there. Like she was like a cleaning lady there and I think she had a daughter. They ended up falling in love and his brother and the mother, they had a family business. Of course, he became rich. They wanted him to marry a certain person, a type of person, of course. He chose to follow true love, but I don't remember the movie, so I don't know. But this that's what I just saw in my head. It's probably been, I don't know when that movie came out. Hold on. Before before we end, let me just look up if there's like an, a little synopsis or an overview. What happened in that movie? Because I don't know. But I'm seeing it in my head. Like, I wish I had seen a trailer or something. It says, for all his life, wealthy businessman Wesley Deeds. Somebody's name could be Wesley. Deeds also, somebody could be in real estate. House Deeds. Or they will be in real estate. In the future, this wealthy man could um, become very wealthy from doing something with real estate. But somebody is holding back something. But wait a minute. Wealthy businessman Wesley Dees has done what's expected of him and has settled into a predictable routine. His life begins to change. However, when he meets Lindsay, somebody's name could be Lindsay, a struggling single mother who has just been evicted, Wesley offers to help Lindsay get back on her feet. Though he's already engaged, okay, he's already engaged, romantic sparks begin to fly. Suddenly, Wesley finds himself torn between what is expected of him and what he really wants. Y'all, this goes with the reading I did yesterday where I was saying somebody, there's a masculine out here fighting against their family, what their family wants for them. And let me tell you something, divine masculine, you guys, it could be a man or a woman. You could be a woman that's in divine masculine energy. Somebody out here, though, your family does not want you to be with a certain type of person, Okay. It could be, for whatever reason, something different about you and this person. Your family does not want you to be with this person because they don't think that the person is good enough or somebody doesn't think you're good enough to be in a, a family. But your destiny together is what brings in all things great. Somebody is so busy saying that you or somebody are not good enough to be together. So one of you is not good, but your destiny together, it makes you great. And the reason why they're attacking you is because they're actually afraid of who and what you will become together. Somebody could somebody could meet somebody while they are in a relationship with somebody or they just got out of a relationship. Like you said, somebody here just got evicted. And I feel like there is possibly a man or a woman out here who has left a situation behind, but there is for sure like a mother figure or someone out here that is determined to block and stop someone's life now that this person is no longer a part of the family. But it, let me tell you, I, I, spirit is really here, y'all. Like, cause I'm getting all the scoop on the, whatever the situation is. Whoever this mother figure is, she wanted this person out of the family. 
she she I feel like she even went so far as to do spell work like I said or she's connected because somebody here has money or privilege power influence affluence she did something to block this masculine so that he would not be in their family possibly like with a person in her family she did something to block this person to blackmail them black like blackball them or whatever but it looks like this person is regretful because they looked into this person's future or they realized that this person was working on something that is going to bring success because they was able to get through whatever blockage they put up now this person's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. We want either they want this person back in their family or they're doing everything to stop this person. Cause now they're seeing that th this person is destined to have wealth. So now they're like, wait a minute. No, we do want that person back. This is that back then they didn't want you. Now you're hot. They're all on you type of energy. Before, you know, when you was in poverty and, and you was working hard, the family, they didn't want you around. Now that you've been working on inventing something, that little business that everybody said was a bad idea, now they're like, wait a minute, we do we do want you. Come back, come back. This is a this is a, a mother figure here who wants somebody to marry their son or daughter now because of what their future is gonna hold. But when the person was on down bad, they didn't want this person around. They did something to kick this person out. Now, they're like, uh-uh, wait a minute, bring that person, we, we need that person around. No, it doesn't work that way. Because whoever this masculine is, this person has gotten something that they need now. This person could have been waiting on a divorce. Somebody could have, this, there's a masculine out here, and they came out in the reading the other day. This masculine could have divorced someone, left the family, they could have, you know, spread rumors about this part whatever this can be man or woman we're talking about they did all this stuff about this person to try to sabotage this person in the community and i feel like this person took a bunch of losses when this person regains their strength they're gonna come back so hard look when this person gets whatever they need to move forward which could be divorce papers they're going into a courtship with somebody that's on their mind. Somebody somebody was willing to help this person while they was going through the worst. While they possibly was in poverty. When this family did this person bad, this person knows who was there for them. And I feel like there's once this divorce or whatever is final, or this contract with this, this business, this company, family, divorce, whatever it is, because it's something contractual that was here. This person is going into a courtship with somebody and there's going to be a great um, fortune. And whoever this person is, the ex or the mother of this ex or whomever, they're concerned now like, wait, what? This is like somebody dogging a person out and then like a month later, you find that this person hits the lottery. And you like, dang. You could have been like a millionaire overnight, but no, you chose to do this person dirt, but that's how God works. God is showing this person, yeah, you fumbled the bag big time. Not only did you fumble the bag, but I saw what you did and now I'm about to punish you. They're going to be up and you're going to be down. That's divine masculine here. Then over here with this divine feminine, Divine Feminine is trying to, I feel, go in the community and, and help people. Help the wounded. Somebody here could be a nurse. Bringing people back to life. And you got this false person here that's trying to stop and block this person from being in their life path. B both situations in this mirroring situation, there's a masculine out here and a feminine that are both being harassed by a mature, a, a mature woman. And I don't even think that it's the same mature woman. They both, <laughs> they're mirroring each other. 
Divine masculine has some old woman that's attacking them. Divine feminine has an older woman attacking her too. Keep in mind that the gender doesn't matter. Take it however it resonates. Why? Because I'm telling you, this partnership, it brings sudden wealth. It's a new beginning. The birth of a business or a child. It brings sudden wealth. These people have been contracted by the devil to steal this. But they're about to be busy because somebody is about to be asking them about their books. Somebody is about to be all up. In, this official person is about to be all up in their checks and balances. How exactly did you become so affluent? Where did this money come from that you have? Huh? Mature woman. Where did your money come from exactly? And I feel like the judge and this official person, look at this. They got a whole case file on this person. And it's like, but the whole time you was out here attacking somebody, you should have been worrying about your taxes. You should have been worrying about your own contracts. You should have been worried about your own business. You should have been getting your paperwork together. Because this official person is coming in and saying, uh, yeah. The books here show that the way, the way you got this unexpected income is you were stealing. And now you're going to go to jail for it. I'm tired of these people. And the thing about it is they love to come out during these moons and getting in people's energy. Not knowing when you get in people's energy, you putting all your business out. I tell people all the time, don't don't get in my energy because every time you do it, you come to my channel and, and you watch me, all your business is going to come right out here on this table. I don't even, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, a lot, I'm sure this happens to a lot of readers. You don't even know these people. And then they have the nerve to think that you're doing something to them. No. You you wanted to plug in. Some of you, whoever these people are, you don't even know them. Not personally anyway. But they're in your energy. 